വെരി ഗുഡ് മോർണിംഗ് ആൻഡ് വോം വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ ഹാർപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ബൗൾ മോർണിംഗ് ഡിവോഷൻ നമ്മുടെ പ്രഭാത പ്രാർത്ഥനയിലേക്ക് നിങ്ങളെ എല്ലാവരെയും സ്വാഗതം ചെയ്യുന്നു നമ്മൾ കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസങ്ങളിലെല്ലാം നമ്മൾ നമ്മുടെ രാജ്യത്തെ വിവിധ സംസ്ഥാനങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി നമ്മൾ പ്രാർത്ഥിച്ചുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയായിരുന്നു ആൻഡ് ടുഡേ വി ഗോ ടു പ്രേ ഫോർ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഒറീസ ഇപ്പോൾ ഒഡീഷ എന്നറിയപ്പെടുന്ന ആ സംസ്ഥാനത്തിന് വേണ്ടി നമുക്ക് പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കാം വളരെയധികം ചരിത്ര പ്രാധാന്യങ്ങളും സാംസ്കാരിക മൂല്യവുമുള്ള ഒരു സംസ്ഥാനമാണ് ഒഡീഷ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് നോൺ ഫോർ ഇറ്റ്സ് റിച്ച് ഹിസ്റ്ററി ആൻഡ് റിച്ച് കൾച്ചർ So today it's our privilege to pray for that state and bless that state and also declare shalom upon our nation. Why don't we start our service with a word of prayer? Can you tell us about the word of prayer? Can you tell us about the word of prayer? Can you tell us about the word of prayer? Can you tell us about the word of prayer? Can you tell us about the word of prayer? Can you tell us about the word of prayer? Father, help us Lord Father to stand in the gap and pray for our nation. Intercede for these states Lord Father. And we believe we will see the victory of our Lord in these coming days. Father make this a movement lord we believe and we give you glory in Jesus name we pray amen നമ്മൾ ഈ സംസ്ഥാനത്തിന് വേണ്ടി പ്രാർത്ഥിക്കുമ്പോൾ തന്നെ നമുക്ക് ഈ ഭാഷയിൽ ഒടിയ ഭാഷയിൽ തന്നെ നമുക്കൊരു പാട്ട് പാടി ദൈവത്തെ മഹോദപ്പെടുത്താം so let's prepare our hearts to worship the lord in odia language
Psalm 34 verse 15 to 17 says The eyes are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them he delivers them from all their troubles Yangal aloda snehikuna pole dambrani swarga vidavi ഒരു പകൽക്കാലം കൂടെ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് നൽകിയിരിക്കുന്നതിനാൾ സ്തുതിക്കുന്നു സ്തോത്രം ചെയ്യുന്നു ഫാദർ ദിസ് മന്ത് ആസ് എ ചേർച്ച് വി ടേക്ക് ടൈം ടു പ്രേ ഫോർ അവർ കൺട്രി വി ഹംബ്ലി ബ്രിങ് ടു യുവർ ഫീറ്റ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഒഡീഷ വി താങ്ക് യു ലോഡ് ഫോർ ദിസ് ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇറ്റ്സ് തേർട്ടി ഡിസ്ട്രിക്ട്സ് സിക്സ്റ്റി ടു ഡിഫറെൻ്റ് ട്രൈബൽ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് ഇസ് അബണ്ടൻറ്റ് നാച്ചുറൽ റിസോഴ്സസ് ദിസ് മോർണിംഗ് ലോഡ് വി പ്ലേസ് എ ചീഫ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ നവിൻ പട്നായിക് ആൻഡ് ഇസ് മിനിസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ടു യുവർ കേപ്പബിൾ ഹാൻഡ്സ് you have appointed them lord so please lord guide them each day that they perform their duties with divine wisdom we pray for the police the judiciary and government officials we also pray for the healing of odisha from covid 19 protect the health workers lord give them strength to face these harsh realities may they be considered to all the sick we pray that health facilities be available to all We ask you Lord for the healing of each covid patient each person who is going through other health issues Lord we believe that the seed sown by missionaries like Graham Stains grow and bear fruit Though Odisha is a land of Hinduism temples and festivals we pray against idol worship witchcraft and superstitious beliefs We pray for our missionaries stationed in Odisha bless them and their families May your word reach every corner of Odisha. We pray for the growth of the churches in this state. Most importantly, we pray for the persecutors of the church. Ezekiel 18:23 says, "Do I take pleasure in the death of the wicked?" declares the sovereign Lord. "Rather, am I not pleased when they turn from their ways and live?" Lord, we pray for their salvation. We pray that they turn to you, repent and be saved. Help them, Lord, to become witnesses of your word. We also pray for the economy of the state, its agricultural industry and tourism industry. We pray education reaches every child. Lord, may new opportunities open for those who are searching for jobs. Heavenly Father, protect the land from natural disasters, anti-social elements, religious and political agendas. We pray Lord that you will cleanse the land of violence and hatred. We believe that we are going to see a change over the state of Odisha. Thank you Lord for hearing our prayers. All this we pray in the name of our Lord Jesus our Savior. Amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning church. This is such a joy to be part of this morning devotion. My friends as this month we are praying for all our states in India and our theme is Shalom India even in our church last 7 weeks i have been teaching and preaching and encouraging people about shalom the peace what is peace what is shalom and why we need that right now the days are evil my friends The time is very bad and all of us need peace in our lives. Even in our India, lot of problems are going on. And I thank God that churches like Exodus taking stand and praying for each state of India. For today's meditation, let us read from 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 8 through 12. Right now when we see this passage Peter is actually writing to churches that is scattered throughout Asia provinces and people are persecuted for their faith and for their good work and they are spread across those provinces and they are scared and during that time Peter is writing to them and encouraging them He says finally all of you should be of one mind sympathize with each other love each other be tender hearted and be humble 
Do not repay evil for evil, because there were people, they are persecuting you, they are treating you very badly, but you should not treat them like the way they treat you, but rather what you should do, instead, pay them back with a blessing. What is the blessing? And that is what God has called you to do, and He will grant you His blessing. When we bless, we are blessed by God. When we repay to them for their evil and we also do evil, then we are no difference. Peter is telling to them that we are called to do good. We, we cannot afford to do bad. We cannot afford to pay them evil for evil. Rather, we need to do good for evil. And then he goes on to say, and he quotes Old Testament scripture from Psalm 34, verse 12 through 16. And that's where verse 10 says, For the scripture says, If you want to enjoy life and see many happy days, keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. And furthermore, he is telling so much instructions. So my friends, the days are evil, the days are not good, everywhere chaos is there, confusion is there. In India, so much problems all of us are going through. And here, there is a question, there is a condition that Peter is offering to the church today. If you want to enjoy life and see many happy days, if you want to enjoy your life and see many good days, if you want to see many peaceful days in your life. He is offering around five conditions there and that is what we want to see. But before that, why we need to see happy days? Why we need to see good days? Why we need to look for peaceful days? Because right now we are not in a peaceful situation. There are so much problems around us, not to mention the coronavirus pandemic. Everyone knows it. Like Coca-Cola, which is spread throughout the world, every nook and corner, people know what is Coca-Cola. Same like that, within this six, seven, eight months, everybody knows what is coronavirus. Even uneducated people, they pronounce this English word or Latin word, let's say, they pronounce this and they know coronavirus, they know pandemic and they know what is mask and they know what is hand sanitizer and what is distance maintaining, social distancing, everything they know now, right now. This has come to us like a storm and we are all locked down in our places. Even our churches are locked down. In fact, if we say we have locked down our God, He is in the church waiting for His people to come and worship Him and have fellowship with Him. And we say, Lord, have mercy on us. But we as a nation have locked down our God in our churches and we are seeking good days. My friend, if we want to see good days, if you want to see happy days, we have something to do. People may be telling us, they may be telling good days is coming. Ache din ane wale hai. Ache din aajayega. Like that there may be promises. Good days doesn't come by good promises. Good days doesn't come by our bank balance. Good days doesn't come by all other activity that we do. Good days would come, surely one day it will come when Jesus returns to this earth and establishes his kingdom. That is where the good day will come and we are waiting for it. But while we are in this world, even the troubles, trials and temptations and problems are there, calamities are there. During that time, we as his children, we will be able to live a peaceful life because he has promised to be with us. Here, around five uh, points that we will see and that uh, we will learn what Peter is offering. If you want to see good days, first thing and first and foremost thing is telling that tame your tongue. Keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. My friends, the world has now come to know how to live on lies. 
every media channel, every Bollywood, Hollywood, every situation, every narrative that we see in media, newspaper, and new channel, there is something not right. Most of them are living or selling lies all around and they are fighting over it. They are debating over it and they are shouting and trying to prove what is wrong, what is false, what is lies. They are trying to prove it as true. Our God is a God of truth. He doesn't like lies. The God of lies, the God of falsehood is Satan. And those who belong to him, they will tell lies. They will tell evil things. But for us, as God's children, it is prohibited for us to speak evil things. It is prohibited for us to tell lies. This tongue is a small part of our body, but it can destroy us drastically. It can destroy a life and it can take our life, body, mind, spirit to hell. James chapter 3 talks about tongue and how this tiny tongue can damage our life. And that's why Peter is telling, control, train, tame your tongue. What do you speak? Think twice, thrice, five times before you utter a word. My friends, how, what are we uttering? When we open our mouth, what does it come from our mouth? In this situation, are we condemning somebody or are we telling evil of somebody or are we telling a blessing word? My friend, we need to tame our town uh, in order to see good days or in order to see a peaceful days. Second point, turn away from evil. Turn away from evil. Why we need to turn away from evil? Because evil is everywhere. When you walk on the street, when we, when we travel in the car, when we see around, even in the house when we te watch television, there are evil things. News is filled with all the evil news that is happening around the world. In 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, the Bible says that if my people whom I have called, who are called by my name, will turn from evil, will repent of their wickedness, and will seek my face, will pray unto me. I will forgive them, and I will restore their land, I will heal their land. My friend, we as the people of God, even though we are not doing evil, even though we are not in the plans of evil, we need to pray so hard that people will turn from evil. And we ourselves, if at all there is by mistake, knowingly or unknowingly, we are somewhere doing some evil work or thinking some evil things, then we need to turn to God and we need to ask for forgiveness. Then third thing is talking is doing good. If we want to see happy days or peaceful days, we need to keep doing good. Verse 11 says, turn away from evil and do good. My friend, we are called to do good. We are created to do good. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says that, Oh God has pre-planned the good work for us to do. We are his masterpiece. He has created everything good. And he expects us to do good. He expects us to do the good work. If we do the good work, Matthew chapter 5 verse 15 onwards we see 16 that by our good deeds, when people see our good deeds, they will praise our Heavenly Father. We are called to do good. What are the work we are doing? How we are doing? What is our motive? What good work we have done during this lockdown period, during this pandemic period? How is our hand doing some good work? How is our leg doing some good work? How our body, mind, spirit, how we are doing good work? What are the good work we can do? Helping the poor. It's written here in verse 8 or verse it says that, Oh, you help each other. You love each other. You encourage each other. Be tender-hearted to each other. Sympathize with each other. 
We need to help each other. In our hand, by our hand, we need to do good work for the kingdom of God, for the people of God. Because we are called to do good work. Then fourth thing, when we see that, it says that search for peace. That is the fourth thing, search for peace. Peace is not found in any shop. Peace is found in God alone. So we need to find peace. We need to seek peace. We need to search peace. Shalom. Shalom is the word. What is this peace? Peace means wholeness, completeness. The wellness. Where there is no war, where there is no hatredness, where there is no conflict. That is where peace is. Everywhere there is suicide, there is murder, there is rape, there is so many things. People are not living in peace. We need to search for peace. And peace is found no other place but in God alone. Philippians chapter 4 verse 7 and 9 talks about the peace of God and God of peace. Do not worry about anything but in everything pray unto God. Thank Him and the peace of God will protect you. In Colossians chapter 3 verse 16, 15, 16, 17 says that let the peace of God rule your heart. We need to search for peace. The days are evil my friend and this evil is done by the devil. Romans chapter 16 verse 20 says that God of peace will soon cross the Satan under your feet. The one who is doing evil will be crossed under our feet. So we need to seek God. We need to search for peace in this land. Then he says that what to maintain it. That means we need to maintain the peace that we got from God. We need to work to maintain it. Try to be in peace with each other as much as possible. Romans chapter 12 verse 18 says. Try to be in peace with everyone. In this world it is very hard to be in peace. There are strife, there are struggle, there are conflict, confusion everywhere. But verse 12 says that the eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right and his ears are open to their prayers. I thank God that we are praying for each other and we are praying for our nation and every state. God's eyes and his ears are upon us. His eyes and ears are set on us. He would watch over us. He would protect us if we do right. His ear will be always attentive to us. The prayer that we offer, he would hear. And he would hear and he would heal our nation. Psalms 29 verse 11 says that the Lord will give his people strength and bless them with peace. The Lord, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of heaven and earth, he will give strength to his people in the weakness, in the suffering, in the trials and temptation and difficult times. He will give the strength and then he will bless his people with peace. We are called to live in peace. We are the peacemakers. Let us pray that our nation, which is in the top of everywhere there is confusion and pain. May the Lord bless our nation. Bless every state. Bless our government. Bless our authorities. May all our churches be united. May the servant of God get together, pray together for the kingdom of God to come soon. For the kingdom of God is not of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Our God will bless our land when the churches will start praying in humble heart, in humbleness. 
May God bless all of us. May His peace be with each one of you. Let us be praying. Lord, we thank you, Father, for this wonderful time that you have given to us, O Lord. Lord, you are the one who gives us peace, O Lord. We thank you for the wonderful promise that you will be giving us peace and your peace will rule our heart. Your peace will protect us. Lord, we pray for our nation, our country. Lord, everywhere there is strife, there is lies, there is evil, injustice, rapes and murder. Lord, we pray that you would control this everything and give us all of us peace, O oh Lord. There are so many families downtrodden and they are victims of all these rapes and murder and injustice, O oh Lord. We pray that you would give peace to each one of us, O oh Lord. We thank you for hearing us. Thank you for Exodus Church. For what they are doing. Thank you, Father, for each prayer that is being offered for our nation, for every stage that you are hearing, O oh God. We thank you. We seek peace and we want to maintain it. We want to do good. We want to turn away from evil. We don't want to speak lies. We want to tame our tongue, O oh God. And you have promised that. Or you would watch over us and you would hear our prayer. We thank you for these promises, O oh Lord. We love you. We need you. We seek for peace. And that's in you, O oh God. We thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, friend. Let us be in peace. Let us pray for peace in this land. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for the peace of our country. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe this word has become a blessing to you. Anginengilu jo nalla nelattu veena vittu pole. Nuppadum, arubadum, nooru meni bhalam kai kwen deva namale oru threem sahai kete. Take this word, meditate on it throughout the day. May this speak to you and become a blessing to you. Why don't we pray and start off our day? Namu kuri vaka prarthicha namara deva samaram bikiam kannagalaya da kyan karthaave. Thank you so much for the word that you spoke. Thank you for allowing us to praise your name, Lord. And thank you for giving an opportunity to pray for the state of Odisha. Karthaave nangalaya sahai. Help us to see the work of your hand upon the state and upon our nation. We declare shalom. We declare your peace upon the land of India. God is faithful. God of God is faithful and you are able to deliver us, Lord Father. Help us to prepare ourselves, Lord Father, for your coming. സഹായിക്കണം